Okay, welcome. Welcome to Philly Philly. It is a cocktail night tonight, and tonight I'm making one of my favorite cocktails of late. It's called the South Side. So I'm glad you joined us. This is a fabulous cocktail that's made up of lime, mint, simple syrup, and gin, and it is refreshing. The mint just gives it this cooling effect, so it's perfect for warm months. But frankly, it is so delicious, it would be good any time of the year. And it's beautiful. So with little effort and with some basic ingredients, you can look like a star mixologist. So I wanna share this with you. But a little bit first, um, I wanna tell you a little bit about what I've learned about um, this interesting cocktail. So let me get my notes up here. So as you know, with many of the cocktails that we enjoy, many of them have a great story. And the story for the South Side is a little unclear. Like we're not really sure. There's a couple of different stories that I read, which may be the reason um, for its creation and why it has its name. So one of them is that, um, and by the way, it was found in a book by Hugo Enslin, and it was called Recipes for Mixed Drink, written in 1917. So that was over 100 years ago. And this is also the last cocktail book that was written before Prohibition. So one of the theories is that the South Side started as a South Side fizz, and it used both lemon and lime juice with gin topped with soda water. And they think that maybe it was named because there was something called a South Side Hunt Club, and that it was named in honor of that. And of course, the fizz would be the club soda. And since it also, I think the Hunt Club was maybe on the south side of Long Island. So that was one of the theories. Then the other theory is a little more sketch, and you have to go to Chicago for this theory. And that theory is that it was invented in the early 1900s, so similar time, but it gets its name from the south side district of Chicago. And, a, and so the story goes that it was popular with Al Capone and his gang, because um, in the north side of Chicago, there was a gang that had, uh, uh, was selling gin. And in the south side with Capone, they were also selling gin. And apparently the gin that they were selling was a little less palatable. So it needed a little accoutrements to make it um, better. So that maybe um, that is why it got its name, the south side. So what's fun mm. is that no matter how it got its name, it is a delicious cocktail. And we actually have a very delicious gin to make it with. And Hubs is joining me with this one. <laughs> He's knocking into me. So, um, so welcome. So uh, if you've never come to one of my cocktail streams, these are much shorter. And, um, oh, you're ready. Do you have the ingredients, Barbara? I'm so glad you came. And Kath? Oh, no worries. It's all good. Both of you, I'm so glad you're here. And for anyone else that's here that is staying back in the wings, welcome. And I hope you'll like this cocktail we're going to make. So, um, again, the main thing you need is gin lime and uh, mint and uh, simple syrup. Now we have made this with lemon. Actually remember that one time mm -hmm. we didn't have enough lime. And here, this is for you, you go sit. Hubs had a hard day, so he just needs to go sit down. So um, we made it with both lime and lemon. And while I would say it is tasty both ways, for me, and maybe it's the mojito girl in me, but for me, the lime and mint, they mm -hmm. just have, not that lemon and mint aren't, aren't a good match, but lime and mint to me are like their besties. So I prefer the lime, but I think both both were good. Alvin, oh my gosh, Alvin, so good to see you. I mean, not see you, but thanks for joining the stream. So we're making a cocktail. So um, I already s squeezed my lime juice. Of course, you know, I've got to say that whether you're using fresh lemon juice, orange juice, lime juice, you always want it to be freshly squeezed. And I didn't know this, but did you know did that not. even after <laughs> that even after you squeeze the lemon or lime, it actually, as time goes on, it loses or gets a little flavor and gets a little bitter. Um, so because sometimes we'll squeeze some juice in advance of things. Um, and I thought to myself, now we don't have the kind of palates that we would necessarily notice it, but I just thought it was interesting. So, you know, I think as far as if you're squeezing citrus ahead of time, don't go too overboard because you don't want it to actually lose its yummy flavor. So I already squeezed this. So this is gonna need a- So how much? One second. This is gonna need to be shaken. So um, I've got my shaker here and that's uh, how we're gonna be uh, making this drink. So I am making two cocktails for me and Hubs. The recipe is below. 
And so the recipe you can actually make is, me a cocktail. is I'm gonna make you a cocktail. One of one of my fancy cocktails. Do you want this me, is definitely let me get ice. No, I have it already. Ah. This is you can just sit. You can sit, relax. Just, I'll fix you a nice drink. Um, but this is deaf. I know you're ornery. He has been ornery since he got home. I'm not gonna lie. So I cannot be responsible for whatever he says or does. I'm just putting it out there. But um, but what I will say is that this is very much an Amy drink. Like ever since we discovered this, I. I've been hooked. So um, I'm doubling the recipe. The recipe is below. For one, it would be two ounces of gin, three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarter ounce simple syrup. But you can adjust that to your sweetness or tolerance of, you know, sour. So make that your own for sure. And then about six to eight leaves of mint, and you want to save one of them to put up on top to make it pretty. That will be our garnish. So since I'm doubling it, putting the ice in. Since I'm doubling it, I'm going to need one and a half ounces of lime juice. So I've got my one and a half ounces of lime juice right there. Okay. And I need one and a half ounces of simple syrup. It's not a simple syrup, right? Well, it's equal because, you know, you don't like a really tart drink, do you, babe? I've made him drinks before that he was a little bit like, oh, that's a little tart. You didn't say tart, but you didn't care for it. So I'm making this per the instructions because otherwise his lips go together and he looks very displeased. So we wouldn't want hubs to be displeased now, would we? So I'm gonna make sure that that doesn't happen. So let me just use my old eyes and find the ounces. There we go, I'm looking for that line. I'm gonna go like this, one second. Here? Thank you, dear. You're lucky I'm making you a cocktail because I'm not saying he deserved it. <laughs> just, just put it out there. All right, so that's our simple syrup. And you know, simple syrup is just equal parts um, sugar and water. You put it over heat until it dissolves, and then you cool and you put it in a container. We just use these canning jars. They make a really nice... Um, it's simple to make. It's very simple to make. It's, that's, it's kind of perfect for its yeah. name. Yeah. So I'm using this since I'm making double. This is one, some of you know, when I bought my latest um, measuring cup set because I'd had a couple broken ones, they sent me this lovely thing that has teaspoons, tablespoons, ounces, and milliliters. So I think I was the one who really broke pretty useful. much all of the You break everything cups. in my kitchen, babe. I know, I do. <laughs> all right, so we're going to need four ounces of our gin. And of course, as you said, we are using one of my favorite gins. Citadel. And that French is Citadel. Gin. And I think it's more floral. And so we were at Total Wine in Cherry Hill. And there was a gentleman. Hi, Archie. Hey, Archie. And hi, Eugenia. Do you remember who what, what the gentleman's name was? I do not. Uh, it was like a uh, Salvatore or something like that. Oh yeah, it was. It was. It was. Um, yeah, it, it was a little. It was not a typical it was, name that we come was across. A, it was like day. an Italian. Four ounces. Name. Anyway, but he suggested that, and it was great. Oh, it's delicious. It is. I'm obsessed with this gin. This is my go-to you know, gin. I've never had a French gin before. Now I'm we're sure going to shake. Archie's probably <laughs> against the French gin, but I don't know. Arch, are you against the French gin? Okay. Now, did you know that when you shake, you're introducing air? Um, besides cooling off the liquid, you're also introducing air, which helps give it kind of a body, which is cool. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Guess what I forgot? Ugh! See, your, your bad mood has distracted me completely. So if this happens, no worries. Be happy. Add your add your lime now. Yeah. We're just gonna have well diluted. <laughs> we're just gonna have well diluted stuff. It's all good. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of my mint leaves from my mint plant here. Oh my goodness. I can't take me anywhere, you know? So um don't, don't you have to these. smack them? Oh not yet. That's the one that goes in the um I'm just gonna put a bunch in there. So again, about six to eight. And this mint plant is not yep. doing well. I'm not sure quite why. All right, let's try that again. So again, well diluted, which is actually good for me, yeah, not so much not for so him. Not so much for me. So you want it to kind of get bruised. It's, it's just, it's just. I just want you all to know that I make mistakes and it's okay if you make mistakes. Like all, mis well, almost all mistakes are recoverable from, so. Almost. Almost. Not, not hubs mistakes, just my mistakes. Then you do want to strain because you've made all that mint break up into little pieces. 
and this will help catch it. So Archie said, there's a tart. There's a tart? There's a tart, where? They said, apple tart, peach tart, blueberry tart. I can't, I can't read my... Something with... Something wrong with my picture, Phil, I can't see the tart. I have a bottle of French botanical gin. Oh, okay. So he Straight has out. some. There All you right. go, Arch. Now, gin 72 French botanical gin in a gold bottle. Wow. Nice. Fancy. Now, to make this fancy, all you have to do is you take a mint leaf, you put it in your palm, smack. you smack it, which helps reduce, 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 no, what does it do? Release. Release the oils, lay it on top, first, and look how pretty. First day with the new language. Apparently. It's the smoke. It's all the wildfire smoke. It's made me. Yeah, it's crazy. So let me just show you this too. This is beautiful. It's such a pretty cocktail. Let's take this one. Isn't that nice? So let me see if you can see the, the mint leaf there. Just so pretty. And so it's a gorgeous, like, it actually isn't quite, you know, it's a little tinge of green. I just think it's gorgeous. It's so pretty and so easy. And then, like, that's all, that's all she wrote. So I just think these, these are beautiful. Easy to drink. Yes. And by the, it? in a yeah. second, yeah. And by the way, um, you should be nice because we're going someplace this weekend. So Barbara. He ignored me. Did you hear him? Ellen said, me? he literally. Yes, smoke is terrible in New Jersey. It is. Yes, it horrible. is. Yeah, she's, she lives in Jersey. Yeah. It's horrible. Barbara horrible. does. So, Barbara, you'll be interested to know that we are going to a place we haven't been in years. To, and we're going to Cape May this weekend. Yeah, we are. So we're, we're kind of getting away for the weekend, and hopefully it won't be too smoky there. Um, Actually, I think, it's, I think it's going to be okay. I hope it'll be okay. Yeah. So yeah, there will be, be no streams this weekend, and it's not on the schedule, but I will be posting pictures of delicious food and hopefully some nice beach scenery, and hopefully, at least by Sunday, some clear skies. Um, are you going to take pictures of food? Cheers. You know, and I might not take him. I might actually look for someone on the way and just say, hey, would you like to go with me to Cape May? So cheers, sweetie. Cheers. Oh, it doesn't suck. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is so good. He told mm. me to, Archie told me to behave. I know, Arch. I try. I try to get him to behave, but that is good. he really doesn't listen to me. Not much, at least. But so it's we, a well done drink. Well, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. And maybe this will smooth out your raw edges today. Yeah, what about that? How about that? Probably not. I think that might help. I mean, you're going to be off tomorrow. We're both going to be off tomorrow. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Like, that's a good thing. Like a little mini holiday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so the next time I do a stream, though, it will be next week. And it. I think it is a Takeout Tuesday. I think. So don't. Don't count on that with me, but I think it's a takeout Tuesday at a Korean place. Um, remember the place we were walking I by? Do. I think that's am next I, week. Am I here? No, am I'm wrong? wrong. Okay. No, no, no. I'm wrong. So, which is not a surprise. Actually, I think the next stream is Friday. I, yes. Wait, move your drink. Yes, it's Friday. You know why it's Friday? Because, oh, I'm so excited about this. I told him about it. So. On Friday, which is the Friday before Father's Day here in the States. Do you guys know Father's Day, Arch? I was just wondering, and when is that, and all that kind of stuff. But in the States, we have Father's Day next weekend. So on Friday, so a week from tomorrow, I'm making Hub's dinner, and I'm making him the very first dinner I ever made him oh, when we were right. dating. That's right. So I'm not going to tell you anymore, but it was the very first thing I made him, and being that I love to was, cook. It was awesome. And actually, it actually turned out well. Story. Very um, simple, can I say that? It is simple. Yeah, it's not fancy. Because you know what? Like when I was making dinner for, with, for him the first time, I didn't want it to be like foo-foo fancy. I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't want to scare you away that way. I wanted to think that it's pretty casual. And then, of course, he got involved. He's like, oh, my gosh, she is a princess. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that's, I'm so that's, excited to. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> so I'll give you some hints next week about what will be on the menu. But that'll be Friday. So um, it'll probably start like around uh, four o'clock and so that four or five, you know, and then to have dinner. So thank cool. you all. This is our short stream, but do try the South Side and let me know what you think. And if you're just seeing this video now, please try it and let me know in the comments um, 
what you think of it and what your favorite cocktail is. So, and I just did, totally didn't even get a chance to really read all our friends' wonderful things here. Um, oh, they're just all so sweet and nice. Okay, so Archie said, on Father's Day, I get egg on toast and coffee. There you go. Matthew, welcome. Bell pepper cocktail and yogurt cocktail, great for me. Wow. Oh, I've, I have never had that. So, yes. So, oh, wait, and then... Okay, and Archie was just definitely not behaving. All right, that's okay. Arch, you're not supposed to behave. And by the way, I don't know what fries you're talking about. In fact, do you know what French fries are? I don't, I've never heard of French fries. Have you ever heard of French fries? No. No. So we're kind of clueless here. Arch, you'll have to let us know. But cheers, my friends. Have a lovely weekend. And cheers. until we eat or drink again, have a lovely time. Mm. Tasty. Very tasty. I think that'll cheer you up, babe. I think it will. It will?